हेलो एवरीवन इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आर चेक पॉइंट वन दैट इज फ्रॉम चैप्टर फोर फ्रैक्शंस ऑलरेडी वी हैड स्टार्टेड दिस चैप्टर एंड टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू मेन थिंग्स दैट इज फ्रॉम योर चैप्टर फोर फ्रैक्शंस राइट टू थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस सेशन फर्स्ट इज इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शन equivalent fraction and the second thing we are going to discuss lowest form or simplest form of a fraction now what is an equivalent fraction as the definition suggests it represent the same part in different ways same part in different ways or forms are known as equivalent fraction in other words if you multiply the numerator and the denominator of a fraction by the same non zero number how for an example if i have 1 by 2 and i want to get their equivalent fraction so as i said if you multiply the numerator and the denominator of a fraction by the same non zero number so here if i multiply this by 2 numerator and the denominator the 2 ones are 2 and 2 twos are 4 this is your first equivalent fraction regarding 1 by 2 if i want to find out another equivalent fraction of 1 by 2 so same number you have to multiply with the numerator and the denominator already the previous one i took to here i can multiply this with 3 3 with the numerator and 3 with denominator so 3 ones are 3 and 3 twos are 6 this is your second equivalent fraction so if i say write 1 by 2 equivalent fraction regarding this so first will come 1 by 2 and second will come 3 by 6 clear if i say here teacher is going to select two questions from your checkpoint 1 checkpoint 1 page number 74 this is your first question and it says write two equivalent fractions of each of the following fraction teacher has randomly selected question 1 c part it says 10 by 35 now what you have to do you have to find two equivalent fraction so according to the previous given example that means you have to multiply the same number numerator and the denominator so 10 to the 20 and 35 to the 70 this is your first equivalent fraction regarding the same if you multiply this by any number means same numerator and the denominator here teacher has taken one example with 10 so 10 tens are 100 and 35 into 10 is 350 so these are can you see these these are two equivalent fractions regarding 10 by 35 one more example we can see question 1 h part if says 16 by 30 16 by 30 so 16 by 30 into 2 16 to the 32 32 to the 60 one more number you can try with it suppose i say 10 or any number you can multiply so 16 into 10 160 and 30 into 10 300 so these will be two equivalent fractions regarding 16 by 30 
क्लियर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी हैव लोएस्ट फॉर्म और सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म नाउ व्हाट इज इट हाउ विल यू फाइंड इट इट सेज इफ द ओनली कॉमन फैक्टर बिटवीन द न्यूमिनेटर एंड द डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ अ फ्रैक्शन इज वन ओनली वन इज द कॉमन फैक्टर How will you get it? Suppose it says, find the lowest term of nine by fifteen. This is an example. Fine. So how will you do it? Nine by fifteen. Now you know the factors of nine and factors of fifteen. What is common in that? Three because these both numbers are factor of three, so three three is a nine and three five is a fifteen. Now here, if you can see this, three by five is the lowest because after finding factors of it, you will not get any other common factor rather than one. So one will be the common in this fraction. Basis on this, now this is your question two, page number seventy four. It says. reduce it in lowest term reduce it in lowest term question 2 a 6 by 27 so what you will do you have to find the factors of it 6 comes in 3 stable and 27 also comes in 3 stable so 3 3 is a 3 2 is a 26 and 3 9s are 27 so this is your lowest term or the simplest form now question 3 question 3 says solve each of the each of the following problems it says find an equivalent fraction of 2 by 5 now here in this question condition is given and it says you have to find an equivalent fraction of 2 by 5 having numerator 8 that means already numerator is given 8 now you have to cross check it which number you have to multiply by 2 to get 8 yeah i know that that is 4 So same number you have to multiply with denominator also. So two fours are eight, and five fours are twenty. So answer will come eight by twenty is your fraction. Next question, we can see. Suppose it says this is your next question E. Find an equivalent fraction of three by ten, but the condition says that numerator should come thirty. Now you know that thirty comes in three stable on ten number, so you will multiply this by ten. Three tens are thirty, and ten tens are hundred. So this will be your answer regarding this. Now next we have question number four. Same, but the here questions are little bit changed. It says here denominator should be denominator. Fine. Suppose. Question fourth B. It says find an equivalent fraction of seven by ten, but it says here denominator should be twenty. Now you have to cross check it. Twenty comes in tens table. Yes, it comes. On which number it comes? It comes on twos. So ten twos are twenty. So same number you have to multiply with numerator as well. So seven twos are fourteen. So your fraction will come fourteen by twenty. Answer. one more question teacher can select it suppose it says d 7 by 8 and you have to convert you have to find an equivalent fraction where denominator should come 24 your denominator should come 24 now next question 
84 comes on which number? It comes on 3's. 8 3's are 24. Yeah. So same number you have to multiply with the numerator. 7 3's are 21. So this will be your answer. 21 by 24. Clear?